The Big Bad Bruins, 2011 Stanley Cup champions. Last season's President's Trophy winners as the NHL's best team throughout the regular season. A regular season in which they dropped three or four went on to fall in Game 7 of the Eastern Conference semifinal at the hands of your Montreal Canadiens. This seems to happen every year, but why? On paper, the Bruins have had the better roster, bigger names, numerous trophy winners including Vezina Trophy winner Tuka Rask and the supposed tough scoring forward and defenseman in the league, 6'4", 220 pound and 6'9", 255 pound Milan Lucic and Zdeno Chera. Not only have they lost the big games of the year, but they always find somehow to feel the need to make plays such as the Pacioretty hit and the Emelin nut shot. And let's not forget everybody's favorite Bruin, Brad Marchand. His constant antics are an embarrassment to the NHL. And for a team that preaches respect and tradition, they fight less than a fair fight. Old time hockey means fighting your own battles, mano a mano, not mugging a guy who made a perfectly legitimate play within league rules. But that's not the Boston way. They act tough, but when it comes push to shove, they blindside you. Defenders of the crest will say it's a style, it's toughness. I say it's cowardly. Attempting to intimidate your opponent with long-term injury so they can compete is called bullying. Julians and his band of misfits know that if they play a clean, fair game, they get outskated, outscored, and outskilled. The Bruins like having their cake and eating it too, but like the NHL, otherwise known as Gary Bettman's League, Montrealers don't wear those rose-colored glasses. We see them for who they really are, and that's just a sheep in wolf's clothing. We invite you to join the conversation at facebook.com slash rbtl sports, as well as on Twitter at rbtl sports. On behalf of the entire team, thanks for being with us. We'll see you next week.